Today on Blue Devil Weekly, we take a look back at the Powder Puff football game, recap Veterans Day ceremony, and get to know some more new faces around the building. All that and more today, November 15th, 2019. Good morning, Devils, and happy Friday. Welcome back to Blue Devil Weekly. Today, we have two new teachers to introduce, Miss Devlin and Miss Bailey. My name's Mrs. Bailey. I've been teaching for eight years. Um, last year, I was at Stevens High School in Claremont, New Hampshire. I've also taught at other public schools, including a charter school in Keene, New Hampshire. Um, this is my first experience teaching in Massachusetts. Um, I graduated from Keene State College back in 2011. I don't know. I have a daughter. Um, she just turned a year old last month. Her name's Ray Lynn. Um, I don't know. I always hate talking about myself. Um, I really like being here at Murdoch because we have a great math department. I've been at schools before where I was the only math teacher, and when you're the only math teacher, there's no one to talk to and bounce ideas off of each other, and we have a really great math department here, so I really enjoy collaborating with my department members here. Hi, I'm Mrs. Devlin. I come from, or actually I have uh, 20 years of teaching experience. Um, most of it is at the special education level. Um, I graduated 20 years ago from the University of Rhode Island. I'm from Rhode Island um, and somehow managed to make my way to Massachusetts. I'm very happy and excited to be here at Murdoch. Um, I think that one of the things I like best about the school is for the most part it's small so I feel like it's easy to get to know the students on a more personal level than at a big school like I was when I was at Shrewsbury High School. Um, it was really big, so I really like that the class sizes and the school itself is small. If you'd like to meet more of our new staff, stay tuned for future episodes. But moving forward, the Student Council is running a fundraiser for buying turkeys to put in Thanksgiving baskets. Feathers will be sold at lunches for 25 cents, and each feather brings a teacher of your choice closer to wearing the turkey costume we all know and love. The runner-up will also wear the pilgrim costume. Earlier this week, the annual Powder Puff game took place, and congratulations to the winning team! We were able to meet with a couple coaches to get their thoughts on the game. Practice is going pretty good. When the girls show up, we work with what we have, and uh, we, we get things done. Uh, they've, been, they've been playing really hard, and that's, uh, that's all I care about. The upcoming game is going to be pretty good. Uh, I hope to win. That's not my main focus, though. It's all about having fun. Um, yeah, go seniors. Uh, practices were a little rough to start, but we've worked through it and we're looking to have a great game tomorrow. I, I think the game's going to go great. You know, we're not going to be in Cadillac mode. We're going to go out there. No Dawn of the Dead, no Grabby Abbeys. We're going to go out there and we're going to dog the seniors. I mean, from what he said, you know, our defense, straight dogging their offense. And uh, our offense is going to be on fire. I'm calling at least seven touchdowns. The juniors were victorious, but the seniors put up quite a fight. Mark Gothier was the play-by-play -play announcer of the game, and Mr. Lanfer and Mr. LeBlanc were referees. Juniors won 48-20. to The cheer routines were the best of the night when the junior boys did a Bring It On inspired cheer, and then the senior boys, a mean girl routine from the iconic Jingle Bell Rock scene. It was a night the seniors will definitely never forget. Good game. Congrats to Class 2021. You all worked so hard, and the cheer routines were worth the wait. 40% of the proceeds went toward the seniors as well as juniors and 20% went to the Cancer Support Fund of Massachusetts in helping our local neighbors who are in need. Now over to our student meteorologist Justin for the weekly weather update. This is the upcoming five day forecast. Today will be in the mid 40s, wind gusts could hit around 20 miles per hour. The football game tonight is going to be cold as temps will drop into the low teens as the night comes. Tomorrow we'll have a high near 30 degrees and sunny skies while at night it will become partly cloudy with a low being 13 degrees. Sunday will be partly sunny with a high near 34. As clouds move in, temps will drop down to the mid-20s for Sunday night. Monday, there's a chance for freezing rain in the morning, along with a high near 39 degrees. Tuesday is the warmest day of the week with a high around 41. 
in a low 30. Enjoy the weekend. Back to Patrick and Leon in the studio. The Chamber Singers sang at the American Legion on Veterans Day on Monday to honor our veterans past and present. Thank you for coming out to show your support. And well, that just about wraps it up for this week. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend and we will see you next Friday. Be sure to like and subscribe and also push the notification bell to be aware when we post next. Bye. Bye.